Okay everybody, this is the robotics challenge and here is the robot that you are going to be using. As you can see, it's a very cut down version of the one that you're using at the moment. It's pretty much the body. The only difference is, is that it's got a light sensor attached to the front. And the important thing about the light sensor is that it is as close to the ground as possible. That way, when you're activating the light sensor, you can get a really good reading out of it. Okay, and this is how you take light sensor reading. So on the robot, turn it on, and then on one of the first screens, you'll see that there is a menu that you can go across and scroll across using the arrows. So scroll across to the one that says view. Okay, so I just went past it, there it is view, and hit the enter button. Then scroll across again until you see reflected light. So that is going to get you your light sensor reading. Select the right port where you've got the light sensor and then it will display what the light sensor is seeing as a percentage value. So the brighter something is, so the brighter color, the higher the reading, the darker something is, the lower the reading. So this is what you can use in your loops, in your weight boards or anything else that you need in order to control the robot. So as you can see, I'm taking various light sensor readings across the different areas of the board and just so I can make sure that I've got the right reading for the right section. Okay, and this is challenge one. It is the gray U. So as you can see, that's it on the board, challenge mat number three. What you need to do is place your robot at the starting position Make sure the light sensor is on the gray line and then just use a line following program to get your robot to move around from one end of the U to the other. Pretty simple. Just remember, slow and steady wins the race. So as you can see, it gets to the end and then you've completed your challenge. Okay, this next challenge involves the three lines, the three red lines. You start at the position the robot needs to be able to stop when it recognizes a red line, say a noise, and then move on to the next line, say a noise, and then move on to the next line and say a noise. The key is that it must use a program which stops when it detects the line. Here it goes again, just so you can listen very clearly. All right, and this is the bonus challenge. Now, I will freely admit this is a pretty tough one. You need to follow this black line all the way from the starting point to the box. Now, the problem here is that you have to turn both left and right. So traditionally, an easy solution would be have two light sensors, but you only have one, okay? Because as you know, with line following programs, as it goes along, if it drops off to the right, it then turns left. But as you can see up here, it goes off to the left, but now it's turning right. So you have to figure out how to get this done. And my solution, just as a little clue, was to use three separate loops with a time controlling each loop, okay? So that's the clue. If you've got another solution, then um, that would be great. I'd love to see it, but uh, don't forget to submit your program.